What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and CDS Actions, and we're going to cover the CDS action, which is delete a record. So delete a record is similar to update a record, where we specify the environment and the entity, we pass in a record identifier, as in the druid, and then it deletes that record. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here, I'm in uh, my CDS triggered flow, and we've got a manual trigger of when a record is selected. This is running on an account's entity. Then we can click on New Step, and we can choose Common Data Service. Right at the bottom, we have one that says Delete a Record. We choose that, and then we're asked for our parameters. So we need to specify the environment, specify an entity name, and also specify the item that we want to um, we want to delete. So for environment, I could either choose the environment I'm currently in, uh, which is Matt's demo, or I could choose the current environment um, there, and that way if I deploy this to another environment, then it all works out fine. Um, but we can we can kind of use that if we're if we're deploying, so we don't have to come back, come back in and then uh, update the environment name. Um, in the entity name, we can choose accounts. So again, you can choose any um, any entity name in the system. You just need some way to identify it, and that's where this third part comes in. So the item identifier, so this is the GUID of the record you want to delete. So in, in my instance, I'm looking at accounts, and therefore the GUID name in the dynamic content is account. So if I look in the dynamic content here, it says account, unique identifier of the account. So if I choose that, it'll go into there. So it does use the singular name um, instead of the plural name. So um, if it's accounts, it'd be account. If it's contacts, it'd be contact. If it's quotes, it'd be quote, for instance. Or opportunities, it'd be opportunity. And that's all you need. So all you do is pass in um, the, the environment, um, the entity name, and the item identifier. If you are bringing through a list, um, bring back a list of things that you want to delete, um, you could put that in, and then that will do an apply to each around everything, um, and you can delete multiple things. But in this instance, I just want to delete a single record that I'm selecting and passing in that parameter for, and uh, we're going to run that now. So let's click save. It saves, and we'll flick over to my Dynamics instance. So I'm in here in Dynamics. I've got this account down here that says Test Account. If I select it, and I go to the three dots, and then go to Flow, and then the name of my flow is CDS Triggers Flow. That's what we've been calling it. So we'll click on that. Um, we don't have any additional inputs. We can just click on Run Flow, click Done, uh, and then that flow will be running in the background. And then if I just unselect this and refresh the page, we can see that account no longer exists. If I go to all accounts, uh, the account's not in there. If I look in inactive accounts, the account's not in there. The account has been deleted. So this is a handy way for you to delete records. I'm usually not a massive fan of deleting records. Um, it can you can run into some issues with deleting records. It's usually safer to deactivate records, but there are times where you just need to delete records either they're created uh, erroneously or um, they're things in the system that you, you really don't need or there's a there's a reason to delete them. Um, luckily through the wonders of Power Automate and CDS triggers, we do actually have the ability to delete them. So um, did you guys know this, this action existed? Uh, I personally didn't um, until I started looking into this. Um, it's not one that I use all the time, so um, it's not something that uh, I really thought about, but when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. So let me know if you guys are using this, if you've seen any uh, any interesting behavior. always want to know that sort of stuff, so let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you've not already, all my details are on the last uh, the last um, slide of this this video, so you can uh, connect with me on social media, uh, you know, LinkedIn, or send me an email, or, or follow me on Twitter. Uh, I usually post a lot on Twitter. So you can catch me there. Um, if you did like this video, if you could like and you could share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. It really helps me. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.